Hello my friends, my name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome back to the Followers of Nagash Tomb Kings campaign. I hope you're all enjoying the series. A couple of things I want to mention before we get into today's episode. The first thing is the thumbnail. This is episode 34 I believe and the thumbnail has changed completely. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to try and get some branding across my channel. I want to use this art style not just for my uh, Warhammer and Total War videos, but also for my other content as well, such as Football Manager, some of my vlogs, that sort of thing. So I'm going to try and get this sort of template now across all my videos going forward. I feel like this would be the perfect time to do it as well, because this kind of marks the halfway point of this campaign as well. So where the thumbnail changes, that's like your, your halfway marker, if you will. So let me know what you think. I feel like I've, I've spent years on YouTube now making thumbnails I've done thumbnails for other content creators. I use Photoshop Elements 11, in case you're wondering. I have got a tutorial on my video of how to use it as well for thumbnail making. And every so often I do try to spruce them up, refresh how they look and stuff. But I feel like my Tomb Kings ones and quite a few of my recent series are a bit too cluttered with stuff and doesn't quite strike you and, and stand out and there's too much information on there. I think a nice simplistic look with some good colour schemes is what's needed. So let me know what you think of the thumbnail. I think it's an improvement over the previous one. That's the one we're going to be using going forward. The second thing I want to mention into today's video before we crack on with it is the snow. The reason why I'm recording this today um, is because I've been sent home from work. We, we have adverse weather. They've actually given a red warning on the news, which has never happened in my lifetime. So I and it's well it's currently ten to twelve at the moment, um in the morning my time. I I usually get home at like half past five. So I've got some free time. I'm making the most of it by recording a few episodes of this. So I'll give you that little story there, guys. Now we are doing quite a good job in this campaign so far. We have taken Lost Plateau, Mount Arachnos, and the Springs of Eternal Life. Oh, also what football top am I wearing, guys? I wanted you to answer the question. I did say a couple episodes back, if you could guess which shirt this is. Um, I'll give you a clue. It's an international team. This is what the top looks like. Let me know in the comment section which football top this is, guys. It's a little game that we're going to play on an episode-by-episode -episode basis when we do change stuff around. Now, King Sandy Sox is currently ambushing by here. I think they're mustering forces here. I have an agent. I've moved up north. I want him to scout ahead. I think there might be another land, another... Something or other. Ooh, what's this? Artosa, interesting. Um, but I want to try and see what's up here because I, I found Gorgazan last episode. I think I'm going to try and go for that as well as the Salt Plains. We could take the Salt Plain and Gorgazan. And there's something called Galbaraz, but I don't know where that is. It might be over here somewhere, I don't quite know. So we're going to try and scout ahead and see what's there. Meanwhile, on this side of the campaign, things could be slightly better. We are in a ambush stance in case this army from the pools of despair which is in force march is going to come our way we can try and ambush them take them out i feel like if i attack them pools of despair head on i might get intercepted and taken out i got this army which is currently building up i know in a few turns three turns i'll have my scorpions back because i'm i'm still gutted by that loss and losing those damn scorpions so hopefully we can recover there i got quite a bit of money to spend Xandri, do i want to build up Xandri at all i think we do potter's hut would be nice What's this by here? Pyramid of King. Ooh, Canopic Jars. That would be good, that would, wouldn't it? Can't quite get it yet, though. Cost a lot of money. I can get the Potter's Hut, though, as a resource. I can upgrade my port for a bit more income. Spend the money while we have it. That's my attitude. Got a free building slot here as well. And again, I'm looking around. I don't even know. Nothing jumping out of what to sort of build. Is there public orders? Fine in every single province here. Let's look at Vulture Mountain quickly as well. I think we've got the same problem here. I could have a garrison, but I doubt I'm going to get attacked there. So I think we'll just leave it for now and let the money keep building up. We've got 18 on the Mortuary Cult now. I could I could get quite a lot of stuff here. Enchanted weapons. I think we had a quick look at this last episode, didn't we? I want to try and get two Canopic Jars, because that Blade of Morning Fire looks really tasty. Melee attack, weapon strength, and armor piercing is what I want. So we're going to try and get that as well. But we are at the end of turn phase. i got to upgrade my dynasties here as well. What do we want to get? Lich Priests, Tomb Princes. The Hekara Warriors get Charge Bonus. And Chariots as well. Or I get Melee Attack. Melee Attack and Defense is what we want next. We're going to get that. Not going to bother getting another army just yet. We're going to just get the, the smaller stuff for now. Commandment is available here at Ash River. We've got the whole province here. They're all happy with us anyway, so... I think for now, if we just get ourselves melee defense local armies, 
because if we do get attacked here, I want to have that bonus. And we'll go to the next turn. So there we go, guys. First turn out the way. Introduction out the way. I've given you a bit of my personal life. I also want you guys to let me know, like, in some of these videos, I, I do drift off the narrative somewhat and talk about stuff going on in my life. You guys like that sort of thing? I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure sometimes. Some YouTubers do it, and I think... I think it brings more to the video and a bit more personality, so I don't mind doing it. But obviously, if you guys don't want me to natter about me being sent home from work today because of the snow and and stuff like that, then don't you know? Don't worry, I won't bother mentioning it. But just want your opinions on what you think about that sort of thing because some YouTubers do it, some don't. I've never really stopped and thought about it. I've just sat down, hit the record button, and just started playing. And it's whatever comes out out my mouth is basically what you get. But um, I can obviously try and change that if if need be. Looks like they're going to attack me here, Kemri. Etc. again. Set to the imperishable. Interesting. I may have to run here. Even though I've got quite a lot of troops, they're mainly missile. He does have a lot more infantry. And he's got Tomb Guard. Let's, yeah, let's retreat. And hope they all can't chase me. I think they're going to all probably be able to catch up with me here, though. That's not far enough away, is it? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's going to force march. They're going to attack me now. This is annoying. Okay, well, it's not as many this time. It's still... Still Cetra, and he's still got Tomb Guard. Right, we'll fight this. We outnumber them. Don't forget, we do get the... Um, that unit, the Yushabti, when we do lose a certain amount of troops. I've got no infantry, so I'm just going to have to skirmish the entire battle here. My lords can't take out their lords. We know they're going to come in from the left flank. Do I have any troops that can spawn over there? I don't think I do. It's annoying. Right, let's go here. Group all of them first. So much missile capability is ridiculous. Right. Yeah, we'll go right to them, I think. Looks like we're going to be fighting Cetra first, and the Tomb Guard first. That's just one single Lord over there. We don't want to fight him head on. Right, let's get you to go right flank in that case. Everything else, I want you to pound whatever's in front of you. Just shoot King Neverset first of all. Get my carry into flank and looking at what he can take out. Probably the Skeleton Archers would be the best. Got another Lord coming our way. Maybe we can try and intercept him and slow him down. I don't want to waste my carry -ins, you see. Right, chariots, all of you aim for them. The rest of you aim for him. Just go for that lord for now. Take out that lord early on. I might be able to kite with my carrions here. And do some damage. This could probably go against me. They got a very high tier army, you see, with, with Cetra. Oh shit, carrion, move. Get out there, get out there, get out there. Fear away. I don't mind this though, them pulling the archers away. I can probably go and take them out once we pull them far enough away. My archers, what are they doing? Right, I'm gonna come back now with carrion. Am I all in skirmish with everything? Yeah, I am. Good. We'll come back actually. What oh, we got? We got damage assistance. It's gonna be useful. Like nothing at all we can use here. Yeah, the Ushabti will be needed in this campaign. Cetra just gone charging in like a badass. Right. You can take them out. We've pulled away some Tomb Guard here. I just need you all to keep shooting. Right. You can actually shoot. Two of you aim that Tomb Guard unit by there. Can't really afford to have too many of you bunched up together. So I don't mind doing this sort of thing. I'm losing archers by here rapidly. Losing only against King Nebu set. Right, get damage resistance on there while you're up against him. Winning against the uh, archers, which is fine. All of you, are you on? Yeah, you're on skirmish. Get out the hell out of there. This is the thing. See, I know if you, both my lords are going to drop straight away here. They're never going to win against Cetra. Problem is, the morale's just going to be deep after the rest of my army now. Uh, Cetra's too strong, and with no, with no infantry, he was never going to win this. 
I can at least take out some of their Tomb Guard units and weaken them a bit more first. I can kill them with Arkan's army, even without a Scorpion, but with with this rag ragtag of an outfit, that was never going to happen, was it? My Carrion needs to get out of there now. They're going to run. They're going to run. Yeah, we're not going to win this. Where's Setra to? Can't even find Setra. We never said it. Did we kill Setra? Did I take him out? I don't even know if I took him out. Okay, go back in now and take him out of there. I think Nebu said, I don't know where Setra's gone. Ah, oh, he's over there. I'm just looking away from him completely. Thought we'd kill Setra, but then that's me being wishful more than anything. Okay, up to the rank 2 now. Plenish hit points, heals injured before resurrecting. Yes, please, we do that. Keep firing on those spears for me. Get you out of there as well. We might have to go for the charge with you. Yeah, you just keep running, go this way for me. Yeah, okay, I want you to charge in on those spears while the rest of you keep shooting. Feed you to them with a charge. Maybe a charge bonus could do some damage. Carrions, I was hoping you'd kill these, but you're not. You're gonna run soon as well. I have to do Shabti before long. Um, I'm trying to think we're the best place to go for you, Shabti. Probably around here, maybe. All right, let's get him out here. Shabti. Get the old Shabti summoned. You can go and attack these straight away. My carrion's holding them down, but we can't. We're not going to win here, unfortunately. If I can at least take out the archers. At least they can't hit me from a distance. Actually, I think the Ushabdi's going to even bother coming here. Nope, can't even get the Ushabdi. We've lost. Oh well. Close defeats. You know, not bad. We took out most of King Nebuchadnezzar's army. He didn't get involved at all. Took a little bit of Setras out, but he's got so many good units. The Tomb Guard just going to munch through anything that I've got. It's annoying, really. It seems to be I'm getting. I'm taking two steps forward, but I was taking a step back. Lost in a whole army there. Can't take the salt plane now. I'm going to have to try and split these guys up, I think. I got Arkan by Numas. He's going to be. Maybe go for Gorkazan, maybe? Well, actually, if the salt plane's going to be open now, we'll go straight for the salt plane. I don't care if he's going back to Kemri. I got two full stack armies still still at my disposal, so it's not a big issue here. To wait and see how it goes. Half Dynasty. Okay, they're gonna pull out. They've gone the other way, right. Maybe I'll go for pools of despair this turn. I need to rebuild another army again. It needs to be around Qatar. Maybe at Mount Arachnos. It needs to be nearby. I need to keep three armies over here, keep on them. Bowman of Orion, they're going to move up. Suffering attrition, I don't care about them. I quite like um, Wood Elves. I did a Wood Elves campaign last year. I quite enjoyed. Yeah, I've lost some lords and stuff here, which is annoying. My will be done. It's tempting to go over there. Attack him head on, but that garrison's what's going to do me in. Ooh, what have we got by here? Arachnos. Come over here. You are not him. Okay, Prince Barak, you have leveled up again. You're just so strong right now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, let's get... Let's get, um... Charge bonus. Oh, actually, uh, no. Immortality. When normally killed in action, this hero will be wounded. Yep, yeah, I want you to be immortal. You are immortal now, Prince Barak. Right. Setra is there for the taking out the salt plane, and the salt plane... Doesn't have much of a garrison, but enough to trouble us. We must take him out this episode. Again. It's the best place to raise an army. But we're not going to be recruiting this episode anyway. With those existing armies. But maybe I can recruit a lord. Qatar. Yeah. You're a rank 3. You're a rank 5. I'm looking at what I've got available. I got a rank 5 by here. It was eternal. Nope. Discipline, sorry. This one. Leadership. Yeah. King Senu. Welcome back to the campaign, King Senu. And again, we're going to just get loads of army. Uh, loads of lords. Oh, you can get hex rays. Won't get hex rays with you just yet because they take ages. But there's stuff we can actually get here. So, we want to give you missiles. 
You're going to have five of them. You can have... need to get infantry now. This is where we start to break down. I haven't got... All of these have all been taken now, so I'm going to have to give you the basic spears. So you can get nine in one turn. And then if I get the hex rates, I've got to wait seven more, which is not worth it. I'm going to need more than that, though, so let's get... Five and five, that's half a stack there, five and five. Give you a couple of crypt ghouls, see how they go. And it'll give you Freeman Skull Catapult. That'll do for now. I'm going to build you up there. You can keep recruiting while you're holding Qatar, that's fine. I want to take the Salt Plane, I feel like that's the next target. Arkin's going to just charge in. I've got an agent by here I can join up. I've got two agents actually I can join up. See, it's not favourable, is it? But if I encircle... I think we'll make this a special length episode as well, guys. I was in the mood. New thumbnail. We're going to make a special length. Make this half hour or so in length. Jam. Can your health's not too good, actually. We are level 5. I want you to scout up here. I have works greater than their paper. Okay, Galbras is up there. That's going to have to be taken out as well, right? So I know where it is now, at least. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the salt plane, and then we'll go for Kemri afterwards. Death you besiege. You can't do much with that army. You can actually force march yourself to assist us here. March. Got money left. You can actually attack Kemri. In the replenishment, please. Damn it, he failed. Worth a shot, though. Okay, that's pretty good this turn. And you're going to build up an army and have some units for me in a few turns. You. I can actually go to the pools of despair with you. You're only a rank one, though, which is quite scary. I could probably auto this one and hold it. Or I could just occupy it. There we go. You can just occupy it straight away. Build it back up straight away as well. Even better. Still got a full stack here. That works out even better for me. And now, over over here, one more turn. And how long? Two more. That a bit fine. You have one more bow. Oh, you got so many bows. It's ridiculous. So. Um, X-ray only takes three turns. Give you a hex wraith. We're gonna have to wait for the scorpions anyway. And then you'll have a good army. And you got yeah, you got the, the good infantry, the tomb guard, and the Nehekara warriors. So that's fine. Okay, um, settlement can be upgraded here. El Calabad. We'll get that up to a rank four. I will end the turn there. Interesting turn. Very interesting turn. A lot of stuff going on right now. Oh yeah, we'll squeeze in another ten minutes here, and we'll make this a special length one. New thumbnail, new beginning. I'm not traditional. I don't do the, the one-hour specials every ten episodes. I do them whenever I feel like it. I'm not doing one-hour special because that'll take me like a week to upload it. And like I said, I got bad snow, so that might affect things as well. I'm currently uploading a video on my other monitor as we speak, and what happens with my internet is when I upload another video, quite often my BT hub will flash orange, so it'll cut off. It'll take a bit longer to upload. So what I tend to do it when I go to work, I tend to bulk upload them. So by the time I get home. One or two videos may have already been uploaded. But it'll, it'll take all day, so it's quite annoying. Okay, they've raided there. They didn't go for Numas, which is fine. Scouted ahead, so I can see what's going on up here. Karakzorn are going south. Cursed jungle. I still want to take out the Lizardmen. Please don't attack me, Arachnos. Go and attack Kemri. I don't like this. Oh, I like this. I, I get a feeling they're going to betray me. Orion is still suffering attrition. They just keep going up and down all the time. They don't know what they're doing, do they? Faction destroyed. Chaos. Eternal servitude. Miscast base. I can lose Canopic Jars. Get Winds of Magic. Oh, let's get a few bones and bodies. Right, expired. Fine. Not a problem. We'll get more rights. We actually can get two now. Okay, you've come out now with your two units, so I could probably go and take you out with what we've got. I might do. Well, I'll just double check 
Arachnos by here. I don't trust them. They are a green skin tribe. I've actually got non-aggression packed in, and they are at war with Kemri, so maybe that's why he's up here. It could actually help, pretty sure. Can't get peace or anything with them. But hopefully, his full stack. Bloody hell, he got a lot of orc big guns here. He can perhaps go and take him out, so might he, he might even help us out here in doing so. Do not defy me. Attack, etc. I could auto this. Would I lose loads if I auto the level 20 though? We're we gonna risk an auto. I'm gonna do a quick save. We're gonna risk another auto here. I think oh no we're not, we're gonna fight her instead. I clicked the wrong button. Alright, we're gonna fight her. I was thinking of auto-resolving that one, but I ended up doing that. Oh, we got a nice pass by here. I'm hoping the enemy will spawn behind me via the reinforcements. If that's the case, we'll win this. Oh, my reinforcements are behind them. That's gutted. That's this map again, right? Not a problem. We'll lead with our strongest troops here. Try and fight this one quickly, real. Boom guard in the center. Spears behind us, uh, the flanking force. Guards there. Two of you behind. That battle. Charge forward and get straight into them, basically. The rest of my troops are coming behind them. We can just munch them. Wait until they're all formed up. We'll hit them in the back then. Hopefully, hopefully get them on the bridge. My missiles should take up their missiles relatively easily. I may have to do a slow motion in this one. A lot more troops coming in. These are all just going to go straight for their, their bridge, though. All these troops are. We're going to rush them, basically. Still more come in. <coughs> Pardon me. Got my carrions coming in as well. They can be quite useful. Carrion birds. Bloody hell, i got loads and loads of troops here. Yeah, just get over there. Right, we're going to shoot. Oh, we're actually wiping out some of the bows already. Okay. Boom out. Where it is, their lord. No, oh, just go slow-mo for a moment. I'm going to tell them all to attack those archers for there. Right, my two archers here. Pinpoint those ones. My two here. Pinpoint the... Tomb Prince, you in the middle. Shoot the Tomb Prince. Get on those horsemen. You got spears, so you should be good against horsemen. We lose decisively. What the hell? Your Shafti's getting destroyed. All my good troops are right by here. Okay, get Prince Barak and Arkan onto him. Let's give ourselves Force Terror to do that. And also, King Sandy Socks. Oh, you're over there, you are. You know, we're near us. Damage resistance. Let's get some damage resistance around here as well. We're fighting Cetra of all people. And let's get some physical resistance right in this area by here. Get all of these involved. God, that, that drop on the camera is annoying. Right, all of you who come up as quickly as you can. You're going to hit them in the rear and finish them off. I think we might not need the second army actually. Back to normal pace. Should be doing relatively well here. Get on those horsemen for me. You get on these shafty for me. We're also shooting into them. An army has spawned enemy. Okay. Pull back. Pull back. Let's get this Nehekara warrior in there. Set is almost gone. Lovely. Arkan. I need some magic. We've got. Arkan gone. Have I lost Arkan? Don't tell me I've lost Arkan. I think I have. We've wounded their lord anyway. I think we've lost Arkan the black in this battle. I thought you were stronger than that. Interesting. All of you getting on this lord by here. Tomb Prince, rather. All of you hurry up and just get down. I thought this bloody carry would be quicker than this. Oh well, battle's over anyway. <laughs> battle's over anyway, okay. All that's left is these. Oh, shoved it. My bow's away. The rest can just chase them off. Actually, shoot them. Go late. Everyone shoot. Did I lose Barak as well? I think I lost Barak. 
Oh no, Barak's by here. Yeah, I lost him. I've lost, um, I lost Ark in the black there. He lost in his one-on-one -on -one duel with Setra. Just goes to show how overpowered Setra is. Arkan's level 20 or 21, something like that. Alright, there we go. Decisive victory. It's annoying we lost Arkan. You only had 18 kills as well. My oh my, that's annoying. Oh well. You live and learn, don't you? You live and learn. Kind of annoying though. Hey, it happens. Lost 181. The other army didn't... We didn't need the other army after, yes. so it was quite nice to be able to win just one. Got some loot. Gonna occupy on. us. Ark and the Black's wounded. This is annoying. We have to give somebody else. King Rakash might be the best. Yeah, he is. Get King Rakash in for now. And Arkan's army. Done from the enemy. Ooh, right cost. That's gonna be useful. Arkan's wounded. Mission successful. Capture and occupy the salt plane. Got some canopic jars and a bit of money. Oh, what's happened? The camera's moved around. I hate it when they, the game does this. That prompt, you? There we go. I like to have the map one way so I know exactly who's coming from the north and south. When it orients itself a different way, I just lose where I am completely. Address me as your highness. King Sandy Socks. Oh, Pentu, rather. You've leveled up. Don't know what to give you. Restore. Give you restore. That's always a good thing to get. Taking the salt plane. I think... We will have another battle here before we end the episode. Although we may not have to do much here. You're gonna run. Please don't be... Oh, you... Look at that. If we attack him, they're gonna be in range. That's so annoying, right? Get back into Qatar. Not recruiting this turn anyway, so it's fine. And we'll get anything we can get in this turn, we will. So let us get ourselves... Get another three. So let's get two more of them and one of them. But now, we'll do it on a turn by turn basis, just give him local crap. And... Then again, i got an agent I could use. Hinder replenishment. Big game. Failure. Go stop failing. Damn it. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, I've been Dragonheart Prince of Wales, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and all my sponsors on YouTube Gaming. They're currently on the screen right now. For more information, check out all the links in my description and check out the links on the screen as well.